The civil war rages on in Syria. Seth Doan is in the capital, Damascus, where the Syrian army is claiming victory as more than 1,500 rebels and their family members are evacuating a suburb that has been reduced to rubble. We have been granted access by Syria's government to come here to Damascus to report from this capital city, which is under the tight control of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. There are checkpoints everywhere, and the center of the city itself is relatively quiet. But in the suburbs, there is a battle taking place. Assad's forces are making gains as they try to pry the last pockets of land from rebels who'd dug in near the capital. For months, the Syrian army has been bombarding rebel positions, destroying much of the area. And recently, they discovered a network of tunnels there. In a sort of surrender deal, the government has also been allowing civilians and rebels to leave on buses bound for other rebel-held areas. State media said at least 1,500 left one opposition district in Damascus today. There are many front lines in Syria and many militias fighting each other. Another group, the Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces, said they're closing in on a different target, ISIS, and are within a few miles of Raqqa, the self-declared ISIS capital in Syria. U.S.-led coalition airstrikes have been paving the way for that advance. Here in the capital, we keep hearing from people how they have gotten used to the war. As it grinds on into its seventh year, people say they have opened businesses or found ways to try to move on, as they just don't know how long they'll have to wait for peace. Seth Doan, CBS News, Damascus, Syria.